So, Harold, thank you very much for stopping by at Fuse 2023 to talk about your company's participation in TIP. So the first question is, what project groups do you participate in and how that participation helped your company meet your organizational goals? Yeah, Infinera has been, has been part of the Telecom Info project almost from the inception of TIP. And I myself have been involved in TIP since 2017, so also very early on. Oh, wow, yeah, because in the fact, TIP was established in 2016, exactly. so you're one of the early adopters. Exactly, and in fact, I've, I've been active in, in several different work streams within the Open Optical Packet Transport Working Group, which, uh, which is the, the area we focus on. Uh, in fact, I've been a co-lead of uh, controls, information models and API working group for some time. And uh, since then, we as Infinera have participated in multiple surveys, um, as well as trials and, and, and tests. In the, in and, the, in badging. The and badging. And badging as well. We've received some bronze badges and we're working on more. So, you've, um, yeah, you've received some before Fuse. Well done, well done. Absolutely. And um, we... We, this work in, 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 these, in these working groups, this dialogue with, with uh, the other participants and with, with the network operators gives us the opportunity to test our ideas, to test our products against customers' requirements and take back learnings from the industry, from other vendors as well as our customers. And that is really the benefit we get out of the work in, in OPT, particularly in, Mantra, in the work in Mantra, the tip must, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as well as uh, the, the DOS working group. All of those have provided valuable input into our product decisions and product developments. That's wonderful. Then what are the benefits of being a TIP participant? Um, first of all, I have to say that our objectives, in, in Finera's objectives as a company, are very well aligned with Telecom Infra Project. We are, trying to, 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 we are driving towards an open and disaggregated WDM networking environment. And the Telecom Infra Project gives us the chance to, to actively drive those concepts in the industry, test our ideas and discuss them with the other participants. So one particular value is are, are the, the other, the other companies participating, particularly the network operators, because mm -hmm. we don't usually find such a, such an, such a set of, of key network operators in one place that want to collaborate that want to collaborate and that want to drive a common obje mm -hmm. objective which is mm -hmm. an open disaggregated network um, so that is those values for us are, are are really really important that's wonderful so we talked about the past what you've done um, with um, your project groups we talked about the benefits so how do you see tip helping drive the innovation agenda in the future and how you're going to be as a company, as a TIP participant involved in it? Yeah, our, our, the, the ultimate goal of, of Telecom Infra, Infra Project and of Infinera as well is to drive an open network in order to speed up innovation because today mm -hmm. we develop new generations of interfaces, new generation of technologies in two to three years rhythm basically. Mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which is very fast. We as an industry, I think we can be proud of the innovation we all drive across the years. We've done that for a long time. But then actually getting these new technologies into networks can take quite a bit of time. Uh, sometimes that, that time can be longer than actually developing it. And um, with driving openness and disaggregation, we as an industry, I think, can speed up network and innovation significantly. And that is the ultimate goal we are pursuing as Infinera, as well as Telecom Infra Project. And to my, from my point of view, this is what we as an industry are working on. And that's a pretty exciting goal. It is. So speed up innovation so those innovations can be deployed in live networks to deliver the best service to the end users and organizations. Exactly. Um, it's, and, and today's objectives of innovation go beyond the, the, the immediate needs of, of, mm -hmm. of end users exactly. and, and, and service quality. They also include providing a sustainable network, mm -hmm. a network that has low power consumption, 
uh, a network that can scale sometimes in a very unpredictable way. In programmable. In a programmable, it needs to be yep. programmable to support mm -hmm. that. And, um, and it also needs to, to change the way it has operated in order to, to be able to leverage that programmability. And all of these things are, are topics we are driving. In fact, um, in a recent heavy reading survey, I think network operators said that the key, the key, key point slowing down introduction of new technologies and, and driving openness is actually the, the topic of automation in networks. And, uh, and basically all of the work we do around APIs around control and management architectures help um, help us actually address that objective, which, as it, as the survey shows, is actually a common objective of the industry. Yep, it is. And thank you very much, Harold, um, for meeting with us, and thank you for being such an engaged member of the community. I appreciate you having me here, and I always enjoy participating in this event. Thank you.